100 years ago, Titans attacked. We thought humanity was at its extinction. But lucky for us, we kept walls up high so the Titans could not break them down. However, it was so boring, so tedious, it made me so angry. I hate living in the same place that's surrounded by walls every single day, doing the same thing over and over and over again. Picking up firewood as usual. Well, Mikasa does. All I do is just sleep. Sometimes when I have dreams, I don't remember what I dreamt about. Then I would find myself with tears streaming down my face. Mikasa would always call on me for it. I didn't understand why, but I didn't want her to blab it to anyone else, especially not my parents. Though my dad was a doctor, he was the last person to get worried about me. And the garrisons were drunk again, off duty as usual. They just had not taking their job so seriously. Also, I wanted to see the outside world. People thought it was really stupid, but I knew what I wanted. And I had a dream too. My dream was to join the scouts. The survey district. Yes, the ones with the wings of freedom on their backs. I wanted to join them so much. However, Mikasa had to tell my mom about it. My mom wasn't too thrilled. She scolded at me that it was reckless. I was such a brat. I always fought with her. However, my dad pretty much took my side. At first, he scolded, saying it was dangerous with all the Titans. But I told him I hated living in the same place, surrounded by the walls, doing the most boring things around. However, he seemed to be considerate to what I said, but he had to leave. My mom tried to convince my dad to talk some sense into me of what I really wanted. But my father refused, saying if this is what I wanted, then it should be done. However, my dad said if I was on my best behavior, he would show me down in the basement of our house. I was never allowed to go down in the basement but this sounded really amazing. I kept my word I would be on my best behavior. However, after having an argument with my mother, I ran off, just in time to see Armin getting beat up by the bullies. They always beat him up. There was just something wrong with these people. After scaring the bullies off, which I pretty much did, However, I noticed Armin was hurt, but he assured me it was nothing. We helped him out so many times every time he gets beaten up by the bullies.